Heck yeah, making meatballs. <laughs> My controller dead. Controller. Oh, there you go. Na 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 na. We should let's do the intro one more time. What happened to D and D? I'll tell you. I'll tell you after the intro. Fine. that intro uh what happened to D, &D? we're gonna talk about it it's not good stuff i'm afraid i mean give me a second here make corona borealis make star six is that the next six uh, star we're on Ah, oh, Salam. I don't feel good saying that. I'm not gonna say it wrong. Allah Kayum. I like him. Have you ever been to the Arabian Peninsula? We haven't either. We hope you can visit. During the day's rolling. Like, that's possible. Oh, yes. Almost forgot. Oh, yes. A royal present for the hardworking prince. That's what we were planning, but we got bored. We gave your present away to somebody on Earth. Must be around somewhere, so roll it up while you're at it. Sending things to Earth? Today, you'll be rolling around the world. The Katamari should be, huh, around a crisp three meters. We can believe in you for 11 minutes in Earth time. But any longer than that, and even the king of all cosmos can't be expected to wait, we look forward to a nice Katamari, Soppy Prince. Oh yes, good song. They're all good songs, but I like this song. I like all the songs, but I really like this song. I really like all the songs, but this is an especially very good song. Yo, that was a frog with a dog. Oh god, a snowman! Um, okay, so let me try and uh, process two things at once while I explain in my bad explanation way what happened to D&D. Also gonna turn things down just a little bit. Um, basically, D&D uh, &D has been operating with a specific kind of license called OGL, um, which allows people to make third-party resources uh, without having to owe Wizards of the Coast and Hasbro, who own D&D. Any, uh, any extra money. Um, and that's been a very good thing because basically it's allowed people to make a bunch of third party resources and even profit from them without having to worry about, uh, you know, big scary lawyers from a big scary firm, from a big scary company, um, descending upon them with the wrath of a thousand, you know, legal cases. Um, if you want to know what, uh, you know, a, uh, an organization that doesn't have this kind of thing uh, looks like, then just, you know, take a hard look at Nintendo, who love to send DMCAs to pretty much anyone who even plays their music in videos on YouTube or uh, tries to organize tournaments. Um, it's just kind of a nightmare, and it kind of sucks, and um, it's it doesn't really lend much to a very creative atmosphere. Like, you know, people don't really want to do stuff for you when you're
currently trying to sue them. Um, so, uh, what is, you know, why am I explaining this? Well, uh, it seems that Hasbro, in their infinite wisdom, um, at least it is rumored that they are updating their license to a OGL 1.1. And uh, it looks to me, looks to a lot of people that the phrasing on OGL 1.1 will mean that retroactively all resources made for that have D&D phrasing, um, I think fifth edition and previous, will uh, they'll, they'll, you'll owe them money basically. Um, it might even be worse than that. Like I I, I know very loosely what is happening and. Um, you know, the whole thing kind of sucks because, um, the, especially the retroactive part, because people have been operating, uh, under the, you know, uh, assumption that they could make resources for Dungeons and Dragons without having to owe money to Hasbro. Um, but it looks like Hasbro is looking to cash in on that and instead is going to update the license. It really is a, the terms of our agreement have changed pray they do not change further situation um so uh what does this mean what are you gonna you know how are things going to change well uh what is likely going to happen is um hasbro and wizards of the coast are going to play some severe damage control in the next couple of weeks you're going to hear that this is not true maybe or that it is true but it's not as bad as what people are making it out to be um, there's a lot of apologists that are explaining that it's oh they can't actually do that that's not legal and um, you shouldn't be able to you know they shouldn't be able to do that um, just because a company shouldn't be able to do something doesn't mean they won't try unless they have a court literally tell them that what they're doing is not you know okay they'll pretty much try anything you can uh, look at you know various different companies that are doing much the same kind of bat shit kind of insane stuff and are, are getting away with it because they haven't had a court tell them no. Um, so, you know, it's just kind of bad. It's just kind of unfortunate. And it's a very huge disturbance to the, uh, to the, to the role-playing community, specifically the tabletop role-playing community. Um, likely a lot of people are going to have to remake a lot of their content so that it doesn't have any any phrasing to do with Dungeons and Dragons. I guess I can't go up there yet. Um, which is a, you know, absolutely monolithic task. Um, also, uh, an, a competitor to Dungeons and Dragons, which is Pathfinder, is currently operating under the OGL license. So even uh, alternatives to D&D are going to be affected by this. So, yeah. Um, and I'm sure people are going to come at, you know, potentially come at me with like, well, this isn't true. That's not exactly true. It's more or less true. Um, you can definitely find videos of people explaining it more eloquently than I can. Um, but for the most part, a lot of I've, I've seen posts from a lot of like genuine lawyers saying like, yeah, um, you know, part this is not fair, but it's something they can try to do. And, uh, you know, there's also companies or, or people saying, yeah, but they can't because, like, for instance, Disney um, own Star Wars. And Star Wars, what does Star Wars have to do with this? Okay. So the rabbit hole gets deeper a little bit. Um, Star Wars The Knights, Knights of the Old Republic is a PC game. It's an old one. Um, but it's one that actually operates with certain D&D phrasing, if you can believe it. What a nice Katamari. Very airy and exciting. But now that you've come for, uh, come this far, we would love to see a much bigger, super nice Katamari. We'll leave you to your work then. Um, Katamari, or sorry, not Katamari. Uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic actually operates with certain OGL uh, phrasing. And so pe some people are hoping that Disney will actually step in and say like, hey, Hasbro, if you do this, we're going to have to owe you money and we don't want to do that and we're willing to fight it out in court and then tell you no. Um, but I don't think that that'll actually happen. A lot of people, you know, suspect that that's very much uh, wishful thinking. I haven't looked at chat in a while because uh, whenever I, I have these kind of discussions, um, what ends up happening is I, I look at chat 
in between sentences and then I get like kind of distracted from my um what what I was saying. So I will look at chat in just a moment. I am also like trying my best to do do this level with competency. Give me one moment. Oh, look at this, all this gasoline we're rolling up. That'll, that'll make it extra exciting when we turn this into a star. That's a new low even for them. Um, oh yes, I've heard about this. I won't really, it won't really affect me since I mostly homebrew everything, but it indeed is sad that they are slowly killing the game. It's really kind of, I think it's hilarious. Like, I, I think it's miserable, don't get me wrong, but I think it's hilarious that, you know, Wizards or Hasbro think that they can actually profit in this way. Like, let's... In order to um, profit from this massively successful game, why don't we punish literally all of our most, like, um, I don't know, our, our biggest fans? Like, the people who are creating resources for us, let's profit from them. Let's let's take money from them. Because they're using our resources, right? That's always the freaking claim. Every time this comes up, that's it's always it's always like, well, it's ours. You can operate with that assumption if you want, sure. Like you literally own D D. Um, and D&D has gotten very big in the last decade or so for various reasons. Um, you know, some of it to do with Stranger Things, for sure. Like, genuinely, Stranger Things is, is actually a playing piece here. Because, uh, you know, they it was a popular show even amongst people that, you know, didn't play D&D. And so there was, like, this sudden potential boom of, of new players and it was like, oh... You know, this is this is something you can do. You can play this game, and I wanna I wanna fight the Demogorgon, and I wanna fight Vecna, and all of this stuff. And uh, you know, yeah, sure. Uh, I, you know, personally, I have no problem with that. But um, because of this recent boom, this is what happens: is when a company, um, first of all, when a public company, in my opinion, gets very very large. How come I can't go through here yet? I guess I can't go through there yet. When a when a very large unchecked company um, gets very very large and becomes basically the dominant playing, you know, playing piece in a uh, a niche field, I'll say, then um, they start to get ideas. And the reason I specify public company is because. Um, the problem with public companies, and I've talked about this before, is that at a certain point, they're no longer trying to create things that people want. You know, they don't operate... Like, the assumption is that if you make a product, people will buy it, right? And that's the, that's the assumption that people are working under. But when you become the dominant player in, in a uh, fairly uncompetitive uh, field, then companies don't really operate under that logic anymore. They will start to get ideas like, well, we could just like charge people for even thinking about Dungeons and Dragons. We could like charge people for, you know, doing this and that. Like it's, it becomes very instantly anti-consumer. Um, and I mean like, you know, that's the, the, the reality of capitalism, which is basically another form of, you know, of, of competition, is that once someone, once a, a force becomes large enough, eventually they just don't need to compete anymore, and therefore they can just take what they, what they want. We are tame, not much to argue with, just kind of concerned. Fish. Legitation, litigate, litigations. Why is my? It's if it's about litigations, then it's old news. They always love to litigate. 
We have a piano lessons now, so we'll go back to space. Anyway, um, my thoughts on this are not complex. They are fairly cynical. Five meters, 27 centimeters. It's pretty big. We imagine it'll make a pretty star. If it were ours, we'd make it much bigger. You did that fast. You hit the goal awfully fast. That was fantastic. That was so speedy and so smart. It will be a shooting star like boom. The thing that you collected the most of is a flowers. My earth really is full of things. We will now release it into the sky. That's why I liked I like the EU. They are the only government that's genuinely trying to dismantle the, these monopolies. Yeah. I see it. I see the rocket. Hey, Mi Mikaru. Is it Mikaru? I see. I think I see Dad. We'll be seeing your father soon, children. To be continued. Let's do one more. Because um, at this point, like... Uh, there's going to be a lot of um, spirit fare. Oh god, is Ursa Major the one I'm thinking of? It got away. To tell you the truth, we were also making a constellation. Ursa Major to be exact. A parent that leaves all the work to the child. That looks bad. Deadbeat, yes. So we were finally done. And then, the last one gets away. Shoot, stupid bear. We are sick of it. So just roll, go roll up one bear, and roll up the present, too. Uh, hello, chat. Uh, welcome to hell. This is, without a doubt, one of the hardest um, Katamari levels in the entire series. Um, and I truly hate it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, welcome to hell. I hate this. Um... I smell a bear. Bad bears. Bad. Hurry up and start rolling. Just one. That's all we need. One bear. We're just missing one last bear. So give us the largest bear you can find. We shall be patient for ten minutes. We leave you to your work. Okay, so, um... This, this level is pure hell. Uh, what, what is bad about this level? Well... We we can only roll up one bear, okay? That's the gimmick of this level. As soon as we touch a bear, the level ends. See all those teddy bears there? If I even touch one of those, the level is over. No more level. It just ends. And then the king of all cosmos is like, hey, you did it. That's cool and all, but uh, this bear sucks. So we need a bigger bear. Next time, get me a bigger bear. So what I need to do is make our Katamari as big as possible without touching any bears. So we're just rolling up everything that's not a bear. And then we need to find the biggest bear we can and roll that up. Like that bear there, that's not that's a pretty good bear, right? But we need to go big. We need to go as big as possible. And we need to avoid touching any other bears while we do so. It is a nightmare. It is a night bear. <laughs> Are there bears on those? I don't think so. And if we get- OH GOD! If we get knocked by anything very easily, uh, I will probably get knocked into a bear. That sign pro has a bear on it. It counts as a bear, I'm not kidding.
Oh god, I thought that was a bear for a second. Yo, tuna time! We're getting, we're getting big. I don't feel good about coming over here. Remember, we're on a timeline as well. That's part of what's dangerous here. Do, 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 do. Also, the, bear, the, the Katamari is already pretty big, so it's already kind of unwieldy. That pair up there is going to be a pain in the butt. That bear statue is a problem. Uh, honestly, chat, I'm doing really well right now. This level usually ends in about two seconds. Don't get knocked backwards into that bear. <gasps> There's their gift. Can I get the gift? Yo! No! No! Ugh. We can calm down now. What the? What is that? It's small. We didn't lose a small little bear like this. Fine, we'll somehow scrape up a Nursa Major from this, but next time get a much bigger bear. We got a gift though. Guess what? Guess what it is? We will not release it into the sky with a mighty roar. Okay, chat, I'm gonna try that one more time. I was doing so well. Oh, red scarf. Yeah, red scarf. We gotta try again. One more time. Oh god. This uh this level really is like a learning experience. You learn you learn uh, uh, about what what how much of a bastard the king can really be. Okay. Need a tuna. Okay. No! Okay. 
Oh god. Oh god. getting bigger is it puts a lot of new things on the menu um the good news is that things very small things will eventually disappear once i get big enough oh god oh god no guy pass no no the bear in the sky oh god may not be small but it's actually not big either we didn't lose a wishy-washy bear like this See how uh, there's more stars that make up Ursa Major there? I kind of want to try one more time. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a different one though. Let's make Star Seven. I now get why you were so anxious. Zian Dobry, have you ever been to Poland? We go there often. We hope you can visit during the days rolling. Like that's even possible. Oh, yes. Almost forgot. Oh yes. A royal present for the hard-working prince. That's what we were thinking while walking the dog. Couldn't help but throw it towards Earth. We suppose it was too much to expect the dog to go fetch that far. Must be around somewhere, so roll it up while you're at it. Yeah, um, Ursa Major sucks. Katamari should be a plump six meters. We can believe in you for 12 minutes. Any longer than that, and even the king of all cosmos can't be expected to wait. Oh, I love this song so much. Bah. Nah. Nah. Bah. Nah. Bah. I think this is actually my favorite song from the first game. There's some genuinely great songs in the sequel. I, I honestly think that the sequel, um, I think it has more songs in general. And it's hard to live up for, to this first, um, soundtrack. But I think it does. And it even remixes a couple of these old songs in a very original way. Banana! Yo, we did it! Yo, banana. Bow, bow, bow. Yo, the cops are after me. Cheese it, it's the fuzz. This is a this is a tricky level actually, because you I'm 
You really gotta like know the layout to know where you can grow. See an enemy. Do you like tea? I know you yeah. <laughs> water when I feel fancy. What? Is that your preferred beverage? Water? Water! God. Oh God. Get the chickens. We're starting to get to the um, semi late stages of the game where the Katamari is like growing to absurd uh, sizes. So that's honestly like when the game gets really fun. Where did they go? Okay, uh, we're not in a good place right now. just a baby there's a way through here okay um back when this game was on the ps2 uh that what you just saw there was like a clever way of loading the next level or the next part of the level This thing is supposed to open up. I just saw my present. Give me a second. I want to grab my present. I wish there was a way to look up. There it is. No! This is uh, this, yeah, this is a waste of time. I want, I want, I want the gift. Water when I'm feeling fancy. I, uh, I, I really like Dr. Pepper. I know, like, soft drink is almost like, you know, what are you doing? Um, but I, I like it. It's, it's my preferred, like, carbonated beverage.
Okay, I should be able to get through there now. I'm honestly burning a lot of time right now. Can we get these police officers? Why can't I get through here? There you go. The thing is supposed to open up. I actually think that's a bug in this version of the game. My commentary just like literally died. I get I get really caught up in this uh, this game when I'm on a roll, you know. Oh, oh, oh. Vimple is in the zone. There we go. I, I wasn't super fast, honestly. What a nice Katamari, all smooth with a shiny new feel. Now that you've come this far, we would love to see a much bigger one. I wasted way too much time on the first stage of the game. Yo, we rolling up cars, son. Yo, son, we rolling up cars, though. Cars. I want to get in there. Uh, come on. All right, I'm wasting too much time on this. Do do do. Mom, mom, mom. Wondering if my gift is still here or if I grew too much. So now it's not available anymore. Oh no! Pretty sure it doesn't exist anymore. to get back up there come on if i can grab those trees then this will get really good nope not yet soon though oh no stuck stuck door stuck door stuck 
I can't move. Yes, tree time. Oh my god. Yeah, I did this honestly very slow. You can get like really big in this level. We finally got in here. Almost got the buildings. Perfect timing. It's a uh, good time for for Spirit Bear, I think. We were moved to tears by the size of this thing. This is so incredible. Happy, happy, so happy. We want to turn it into a star right now. The thing that you collect the most of is fruit. My earth really is full of things. We will now release it into the sky. Uh, yeah, I didn't get the shooting star. It's not a shooting star if I didn't make it fast. That's fine. Alright, we save. Red scarf is best. Change my mind. All right, 